Hi guys, this is Always back with another tutorial of AutoCAD series. In this video, we will see how to measure distance and areas. So I opened one of my drawing here and I'm going to go and click on this flyout menu and I've got a few commands here. I've got distance command, I've got radius command, I've got angle command, area and volume. Distance command measure the distance between two points along a polyline. Radius measure the radius of a circle or an arc. Angle measures the angle, area measures the area, volume measures the volume. So I'm going to start measuring distance first. I click on the distance command and let's say I will measure this line. So I select one endpoint from here to this endpoint. And now the command has to stop for a moment. As you can see here, it's 20 feet on an X axis. This command basically wouldn't write anything as a dimension command do but this is just for your reference that to measure a distance so I'm gonna go and press spacebar and select this line now I click this point and this end point and now because a line on an angle that's why I've got a few dimensions here I've got the distance of a line which is 5 feet 6 3 by 4 I've got vertical distance here 3 feet 11 and a half inch I've got horizontal distance here 3 feet 11 inch 1 by 4 and I've got an angle here the angle varies it depends on your UCS if my UCS is not on a wall the angle I would get would be a different angle alright so the next part we're gonna have a look at the radius command alright so I click enter and for the radius command I need to draw a circle I draw just a reference circle here and I go and select the radius command. Now it's going to ask me to select an arc or a circle. I will just click on this and I've got the radius there. 1 feet, 9 inch and half. So I can even click angle. But as you can see that circle doesn't have angle. So I have to specify the second point. Let's say I've got two lines here. I've got that line and I've got this line. And I don't know the angle. So I'll go and select the angle command, I'll click this object and a second object here. As you can see now I've got an angle of 151 degrees. I can even make a distance here. I can switch between commands. So once I click the second click, I'll get, I'll get this option. I can even make an angle, area and volume within the same command. I've got these options on the command line as well. I can select these commands by clicking or pressing the blue alphabet and press spacebar and this will work so let's say we will measure some more objects here I'll draw an arc let's say measure this arc right so I'll select this angle and I click on this I've got the error I've got the angle here 88 degrees so let's have a look at the this area command now I'll draw an rectangle here and I don't know the dimension of this so I'll go and click on this flat menu click on area command and now specify the corner points of an object I can even select an object and I can specify the points as well so but this time I'm gonna click on the object and I will select this rectangle and I click on this area and now our area is 22520.8 square inches so I've got an area as well Let's have a look at by selecting points. So I'll select this point here, and the next point would be that point, that point, that, and this point. All right. So now I click, and now I've got the same area. So you gotta select four points to measure an area. So I've got 22520.8 square inches. You can use the old command by typing distance, di, just type di, so that's a dist command, and click on it, and that's my a distance from this point to this point. So this command basically tells you the measurement on your command line. Alright, let's have a look at a different way to find out the measurement of an object. Let's say I want to find out a measurement of this line. So what I do, I select this line and type PR for properties, right click. And here in a GeoMap view, you can see that on the X axis, where is our object? Y axis, Z axis. And now let's say we got a length of 15 feet, three by four. 
I've got angle as well, 270 degrees. So that's another way to find out. You can go to properties for any object on this drawing or wherever the object is there. You might some object will give you a distance or measurement of object will give you a give you very um, brief information what your object is, what the angles are. So it's a good way to find out the measurement or distance or type of your object while going to the properties. So there's another command called QP. That's a quick property command. Just quick information about your object. I've got a color, it's by layer. I've got layer information. I can change the layer from here. I can change the line type and I've got a length here as well. So just play around with QP command, which is quick properties and the main properties, which will be a lot more information about the object. Some objects will give you an area as well. What if I go and select my rectangle here? I've got to press escape to deselect and select my rectangle. And I type PR for properties. And let's see if we get the area as well. As you can see, I've got an area here as well. So I click on it. So I've got this information which say it's closed. Let's say if I explode this rectangle and then I select and type PR. Now the information is less it's got different kind of information here I've got four lines selected because it's not a closed object anymore it's these are the separate lines so that's why I've got different kind of information here all right so if you ever need to calculate anything you don't have to pull out your pocket calculator AutoCAD got his own calculator built into program so if I go and click this quick calc and I've got a calculator here I've got this quick calc here as well in the utility panel. So let's say I want to do basic calculation. I can do that as well within this calculator. And I can do some advanced calculation as well. Let's say I want to add 9 feet by 8 dash 1 by 2 inches plus 2 feet 6 1 by 4 inches and I press this equal button and I get the answer here so my answer is 12 feet 2 and 2 inches 3 by 4 so just be aware that the last one is going to be round value and this calculator can calculate distance angle and intersection so just play around with this calculator I've got this scientific calculation here as well if you click on this plus sign you get this sign you get these up um, some function of the calculator. So that's it for measuring distance and areas. In the next video, we'll talk about dimensioning objects. So, peace out for now. Subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.